My name is Vivian Courgeot and I'm with Jews Against the Occupation. And I welcome you all here today and I'd like to acknowledge that we stand on stolen land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation and pay our respects to the elders past and present. Our group, Jews Against the Occupation, began in 2006, a couple of months before Hanan Ashrawi was awarded the um, Peace Prize in Sydney. We felt there was, there was always this monolithic Jewish voice that was expressed from the leadership of the organised Jewish community. And there are also one or two what I call liberal Zionist groups who want something better, uh, want peace in Israel-Palestine, but would not go outside the parameters of what is permissible within that debate within the Jewish community. And we formed ourselves on the basis that um, we were not going to be confined by that. We would talk with respect to our fellow Jews and, and um, the whole community, but we want to represent it, a different Jewish voice. We wanted to project that to be Jewish is not necessarily to be Zionist. Some people are Zionist in our group. I don't even consider myself anti-Zionist because there are many strands of Zionism which have sort of gone in the aeons of time um, that didn't even involve a Jewish state uh, or any kind of state. Um, so um, th there's a whole lot of we want to represent that diversity. And so um, in terms of that, um, we want this discussion is, is furthering that to try and, and um, develop ideas of different, uh, to, uh, looking at a positive way of being Jewish, if you like. Speaking for myself, um, this action and activity that I've been involved with for a peaceful resolution in Israel, Palestine, is close to my heart because what is going on over there is claimed that it's done in my name. And that I cannot abide. And so that's why I've personally been active. Um, now I'll be introducing our other two speakers as we um, as they go along. Um, I myself, my parents um, were refugees from Europe. They got out of Prague um, the day Hitler marched in, and I grew up in New Zealand. Um, I am a very secular Jew. I haven't got any religion, but I'm very much Jewish. Jewish is is a, is a culture and a history as. A, as much as a religion. I sometimes say that religion is the pearl around which the, um, the is the grit around which the pearl of the culture developed. Okay, so um, what is the, the general situation here is that there's huge pressure against di di um, diverting from the party line, if you like, around Israel and Zionism. It's okay in the Jewish community to debate the existence of God. It's okay to have uh, of the float of uh, the Jewish float in the Mardi Gras on the front cover of the Jewish news. But when it comes to the question of Israel and Zionism, it's, a, it's a, what they call a red line. To question Zionism is not to be a real Jew, to be a self-hating Jew. And this kind of labeling is something we want to expose and dissolve and try and have a, a much richer uh, life as Jews. Um, there have been situations, for example, the question of boycott, divestment and sanctions um, is a very much a red line. That, for many Jews, it's like <gasps> destruction of Israel equals another Holocaust. It's that kind of global emotion that is attached around it, which doesn't um, connect with the actual reality of the boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign. And so, so for instance, both Peter Slezak and I have been excluded from the Liberal Dolls, which is the Jewish um, festival of ideas they have each year on the basis of support for BDS. And that still is a very strong thing. Although Peter last year, well, last time was um, included, I still have been excluded. So, you know, there are, di there are differences. Zionism only had the um, mass support of Jews after the Second World War. Before that, it was a minority, yes. a minority belief. And so um, we, we forget this and, and the sort of the way it's presented now with the hysteria around it, you're not Zionist. All these things get forgotten and we want to revive a bit of memory here. Um, and as I said before, there's always were a range of Zionist visions. There were binational ones. Um, Einstein said he was afraid that if you know a state for Jews was um, created without um, having it by negotiation, if it was created through conquest, then that would in fact um, be, um, you know, undermine what the essence of being Jewish was. Um, and right now, we're seeing about in, in the younger generation, particularly in America, a much greater divergence. Young Americans do not relate to what is going on 
in Israel in the same way that their earlier generations did. We in Australia are very much far behind, so it's a very tight little thing. But inside the Jewish community, there's a lot of angst about this. And so often these debates can be held, but very much behind closed doors. So, for example, Amira Haas, the um, Israeli journalist, will be visiting Sydney um, later um, uh, in later April, and it was not possible to find, even at the liberal end of the spectrum, um, an organisation, say the New Israel Fund or Manual Synagogue, to host her publicly, even though the individual concerned would be very keen to do that, but in terms of the way those organisations run, they wouldn't do it. So there will be an event with Jews, behind in a private space. And so these ideas are floated and people get very upset at the exclusion of people. That, that happens as well. So um, the other part, and also I think, you know, in, in relation to um, Orgis, uh, Australian Union of Jewish Students, um, we feel sure that there must be some um, students who don't relate to that. And, and um, while they'd want to uh, affirm Jewish identity, they don't believe that that is what they stand for. One of the issues for me is that Zionism has bleached Jewish culture. It's sort of emptied it out, it's hollowed it out. I mean, there were such rich strands of Jewish culture, and that to me, the preoccupation with Israel and Zionism is, is such a narrowing focus of, of, of identity that it's, you know, there's a whole range of things that, you know, if we can open it up, um, this would be a much richer way of being Jewish in the world. And um, it's also, this is so much based on fear. The Zionist movement is be built on fear. It says, get rid of the diaspora before the diaspora gets rid of you. That's what the hardliners say. And you cannot think of anything more horrific. What kind of fear is that to sort of um, nourish? And um, how can fear um, produce a vision of a better world? Whereas hope, if we work from hope, we can do so much better. And so I think it's time we claimed our full, reclaimed our full history and our full culture and our freedom. Then perhaps we can be free to liberate the Palestinians and live with them side by side in peace, equality and mutual respect. <laughs>